My vanity is clearly a disaster. This is what I'm dealing with today. I want to clean this. I also want to do a little declutter with y'all. Hello, hi. It is 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm still in my pajamas, but I feel like it's a lazy Sunday. Mike and I were out pretty late last night and I'm exhausted. So I think how this video is gonna go, I'm gonna clean off my vanity. I wanna do a declutter. I really wanna go through my lip products because I feel like a lot of them are bad and I don't wear a lot of them. I don't use a lot of them. Here is like my lipstick drawer. I wanna go through lipsticks, glosses, mini reviews of each and every product that I decide to keep. So I'll let you guys know what is brilliantly worth it. And then like what products products are okay. I just don't gravitate towards them. And then of course I will include which products are absolute shit that I would like to get rid of. This is a prime example as to why I really don't buy that much makeup anymore because you're going to see like just how many things I get rid of. It's unnecessary. It's kind of disgusting. It's really wasteful. Whatever I can donate, I will donate and whatever I can give to family, I will give to family. So yeah, let's go ahead guys. If you've subscribed, you rung the bell, then let's hop into this cleansing of the declutter video. I love getting rid of things. Oh my God. This is my Ikea drawer set. I definitely want to go through what my lip products in here. I will show you guys like all the different compartments that I use to store my lips. I'm also going to be swatching all of my lip products, my glosses, my lipsticks on this piece of paper. A fellow beauty YouTuber, her name is Taylor Elizabeth. I watched one of her declutter videos. It was so good. I love declutter videos. I will link her video down below, but she swatched all of her lip products on a white piece of paper. Easy to see which colors were super similar to other colors. This way she could downsize her collection. This is my lipstick container. I'm pretty sure I got it off of Amazon. I will link it down below in the description. As you can see, I do store my lipsticks upside down. It's way easier to be able to read the color shade than everything like being face up like this and then I have no idea what it is. First, I'm gonna go through my NARS glides. I really don't remember the name of them, but I did do a dedicated video to all of these. I will link it up here in case you guys are interested, but I have seven of them, different kinds of nudes. I love the packaging. NARS is my favorite brand, my favorite makeup brand. I'm loving this swatch idea. It's just great because as you can see, I swatched all of the colors up here and then I laid them out in the same order. It's so easy to keep track and go through it like this. So I'm very excited for this declutter. As you can see, the first one is this really pretty cool pink. I'm definitely gonna keep this. This is very unique to my collection. This is NARS in the shade Party Girl. The next shade is Roseland. I like how it is brown, but it kind of leans a little bit purple. It's like moody and I love a moody lip, so I'm gonna keep this one as well. The next two I like, however, I feel like Vault and Swing are very similar. This one and this one are very close to the same brown. Vault is a little bit darker and a little bit more brown, which I like, so I'm gonna keep Vault and I'm gonna get rid of Swing. But I'm gonna keep the one in the middle because I think it's a really pretty warm brown. It kind of has like a beigey tone to it and that just complements my nude lipsticks and looks like a lot of my nude lipsticks, so I'm gonna keep Lore. I'm not a big purple lip kind of girl. Berries and purples, I just don't find that they complement me, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Spike. Last one kind of has like a nudish beige tone, which is my favorite, so I'm definitely gonna keep that one. And that is in the shade District. I'm getting rid of two of these NARS lip glides. Again, I'm getting rid of Spike and Swing. Next, I have all of my MAC lipsticks. The shades that I'm gonna be getting rid of are Candy Yum Yum because I never wear it. I think that's it. I really think this is the only one that I'm gonna get rid of just because I don't really gravitate towards this anymore and I find that it doesn't lay on my lips as nicely, maybe because it's old. The one that I definitely wear the most is Faux. This is just like a classic lipstick. As you can see, I am at the ass bottom of this one, but this is like the perfect new lipstick for me. Next most warm one is Velvet Teddy, which is a little bit of a warmer kind of nude. The faux one I think is kind of more of a cool tone nude, whereas Velvet Teddy has more beigey kind of undertone to it. So definitely on the warmer side. Russian Red, 
classic red. It's a little dark for me. I'm just gonna hold on to it because sometimes I'm in the mood for a darker red, but personally, I prefer a more orangey red. This is Among the Fireflies. This is more of a 90s kind of light brown. I love this. I have not worn this enough. Definitely going to throw this in my pocketbook in hopes to wear this a little bit more often. Speak louder. I don't know if this is still sold. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to it, and if I don't wear it at all this summer, I will go ahead and declutter it come the fall. Maybelline. So these are the three shades that I own. I also have multiples of these two. I'm not getting rid of either of these. These are beautiful nudes that I wear all the time. This one has been very well loved. This is in the shade Blushing Beige. Perfect pout, inner pout shade. Makes your lips look really juicy. This is the lipstick that Jaclyn Hill made super famous, super popular. This is Maybelline in the shade Baddest Beige. I'm pretty sure you can still get your hands on this. This is my go-to nude. Super, super comfortable. I would say Blushing Beige is a little bit more matte. This is definitely more gloss texture, really hydrating, very juicy on the lips. This is just a really great staple, comfortable lipstick. So these two I'm definitely keeping. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I've just had this for the longest time. I get so many compliments on this whenever I wear it that it's a really good shade for me. This is in the shade Touch of Spice. It's like a brownie kind of plum shade, really moody. This is a matte formulation. It's not very drying. I would say it's pretty comfortable of a matte. I just, again, I just don't gravitate towards it, but it's super... Mm. Now, you know me, I'm like swatching it and I'm like, hmm, should I wear this? Mm. No, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm just gonna go with my instinct and I'm gonna declutter this one. These are mad old. Um, I used to be really obsessed with these. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you guys because I feel like they're just like beautiful shades, but oh my God, that's so creamy. This is just like melting onto the paper as I swatch it. Can you see? It's like chunky monkey. I just feel like these are bad. This one looks less melty. Nope, still pretty melty. Oh, I love that color. Shining Peach, so pretty. Three shades that I have. I know that there's four here, but I actually own two of the shade Shining Peach, which is the one in the middle, which is this like really, really beautiful nude. I have to say this one is my favorite out of all of them. And then this one is Glossy Fawn. And then this one I never really wore, which is such a sin in the shade Burnished Blush, just because again, guys, I don't really like these berry tones on me. I swatch it on my hand as well. It's just, it's not my kind of a lipstick. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these. However, I'm definitely going to buy another Shining Peach. That's just like a really good color. I love clear packaging, you know me. If I ever created my own beauty products, my entire line would be clear just because it's just, it's so chic, I love it. So nice, okay, but I'm getting rid of all of those. Remaining drugstore lipsticks. I'm gonna keep this one just because it still has the packaging on it. This is the Alme hashtag lip vibes in the shade never regret. It looks like this brown, like almost like a light coppery brown. I'm gonna keep this just because I've never opened it. I love this shade. This is the same Alme lip vibes, worry less. This shade really reminds me of my Inglot one, which is right here that I've had forever. Number 225, that's the Alme one. It's kind of like a really sheer, cool toned pink. That one's a little bit lighter, a little bit pinker. I'm actually gonna keep both because I find that these two are really unique shades. Joa lipsticks, which are really nice if you're looking for a drugstore lipstick. However, Maybelline is my favorite lipstick brand at the drugstore. And I just don't find that I pick these up that often. Shade Adulting which is just like this really vibrant red that's actually really pretty. Don't ever wear this. This is in the shade Seal Sista. And it's just like too shiny. Like it, it reminds me of like a 90s frosty lip. So I think I'm gonna donate Soul Sista to someone. I think I have another Joa lipstick somewhere. I have so many lipsticks in so many places, it's wild. This is in the shade Swipe Right. And I like this. Okay, it's shiny, but it's not as metallic as Seoul Sista. I feel like this is really, really pretty for the summer, so I think I'm gonna keep this one as well. I'm really upset that Revlon discontinued these lipsticks. These are their Moodstruck? No, Moon Drops lipsticks and Hot Coral. I don't know what it is. The smell of Revlon lipsticks just like 
makes me think of my grandma, honestly. Feel like I'm sitting at my grandma's vanity, which I used to love to do when I was little, but like, look at that color. I feel like this is really old. Honestly, it smells okay, so. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep it. I have two lipsticks that I've never worn all done up by Lancome. Pretty color. I've just, I've never worn it. I haven't given it a chance. That's not really my shade, but I do, mm, I just, there's something about a new lipstick that's never been touched that kind of makes me horny anybody else. I don't know. So I think I'm going to give this to someone. I'm just going to give it to someone in my family. I'll give that to someone. And then I really want to try this. I don't even know what this looks like. Lovecraft Beauty, which I love their contour. No, their bronzing palette. I love their bronzing palette. So I want to give this a shot, but this is in the shade Fosta. I don't know but I'm gonna keep it because it's in its plastic. Milk Makeup Lipsticks, I love these both very dearly. Michael bought them for me, so I will never ever part with them and I love that they come in white packaging. I gotta be honest, I don't really wear new whip that often. It looks like a dark brown, but it's actually very plummy. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. Like you would never think that this was purple, would you? These are matte, but they're really comfortable, not very drying. I really love this formulation. And then this was super cute. He bought me the shade Wifey. Um, this was right after we got engaged. And that's definitely more of my vibe. I like a purpley brown. I don't like a purple berry. And then these lipsticks both really need to go. I've had them forever. Sam that I spent so much money on this and like never used it. Like there's so much product left in here. YSL Rouge Volupt Shine. These are really comfortable and sheer. I want to get another color, but I just, I don't, again, it's kind of like a berry pink. So I don't really gravitate towards this and this is really old. So I think it needs to get thrown out. Benefit, I was so sad when they got rid of this. I did wear it a lot. This is in the shade Ladies Choice. This was my like first ever nude lipstick and this is like the perfect nude. Like it is friggin nude. It's so pretty. However, this is kind of like melting as I swatch it. I just think it's like too old. These are from Trustique Mini Lip Glaze. This is in the shade English Rose. I'm sorry guys. I've abandoned the paper swatching. I'm just, I'm more of a hand swatch kind of gal. I've decided, but it was fun to try it. I'm never going to wear these. I've just got to be honest. English Rose is more on the sheer side. It's really pretty, but again, it's just, I don't, that's not my kind of color. And this red, I don't really love that. Kind of reminds me of my Russian red, actually. And I don't really wear this one a lot either. And if I'm gonna keep either one, I think a MAC is better. Yeah, I like, those are very, very similar, but I like the MAC one just because it's a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna get rid of these two trusty clip crayons. This is my baby girl. I've had her for a hot minute. She was expensive, I need to wear her more. This is NARS in the shade Anita. She's kind of similar to Lady's Choice, but she she gives more of a pink shade. So this makes me feel better about getting rid of the Benefit one. So again, Nars Anita, love her. And then I effing hate these, but I love the colors. I just hate how, can you see? The bullet is destroyed. They fall right out. Oh, really like the formula. I really like the shade. I think they're called Lip Trans. They're Pat McGrath's lipsticks. I'm gonna keep them because I really like the colors, but I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of these soon just because they fall out of the packaging and I'm not a fan, but I love all of my shades. I have Obsessed, Elsin, and Full Panic. This is the pile of products that I'm getting rid of. I got rid of a total of 14 things, which is very exciting and I'm really happy. I put my NARS lip glosses in the front and then I kind of did like funky, more fun colors here. So I have all of my Pat McGrath like reds. I have my Revlon red, my Joe red. I have the new whip, which is that really dark purple from Milk Makeup. And I put all of my MACs together. I just like to keep them all together. And I went in the order of my most used to my least used up here, all nudes like right in this section, which when I open up, my drawer, to be honest, I kind of gravitate towards the top of this acrylic just because I feel like it's closer to me because it's lifted. So I put all of my nudes in this little section and I'm excited to fill this up more as we go. 
okay, let's do my glosses and matte liquid lipsticks. Might take a hot second, but I am down for the challenge. I pulled all of my red tones, which I have to be honest, I really don't wear any of these. Four matte lipsticks that I have. I have Morphe in the shade Hot Shot, which I really love. This is like a very vibrant red. I have Brick, which is a darker brown shade. I really don't wear this, so I'm gonna go ahead and donate this to someone in my family. I've worn this only a couple times, but it's just, it's too dark for me and I don't love myself in a dark lip. BH Cosmetics in the shade Maria. I did a whole video on these liquid linen lipsticks. I just, I don't love this formula. I don't gravitate towards it. So I will go ahead and donate that. And I do really love Jolie Cosmetics. This is in the shade Amore. So I will keep this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep Jolie and Morphe and I'm gonna ditch the dose of colors and BH Cosmetics Liquid Linen. My gloss formulations, Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquers in the shade So Hot, which is this really vibrant red. That's pretty. So classic, or it's just classic, sorry. And this is just a really dark, like vampy shade. I think this would go beautiful with the Dose of Colors brick shade that I'm going to give to someone. So I will go ahead and give this away with it. Ciate Glitter Flip in the shade Infamous. I have never applied this. I don't like glitter in my lipstick. Toss this in the donation box. I love these. I think Colab stopped selling them, but they're just like really faint. You can't even see. Like it looks really red in the tube, but it's not that red in real life. It kind of just gives like sheen of pink almost to the lips. So I think I'm gonna keep this one as well. Glitter glosses. I have this one from e.l.f. It's kind of just like I don't even know if you can see that on camera, but it's clear with a little hint of gold. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this one. This one is like a freaking metallic <laughs> from Wet n Wild. I don't even think they sell this anymore. This is in the shade Gemini. I just, I feel like the Tin Man is on my lips. I just, I don't like that. So I'm gonna get rid of this one, donate this one. I don't know who would wear this. Would you ever wear lip gloss like that? It looks like a highlight. Not, not my thing, not my thing love wet and wild lip glosses guys they're like four bucks i have so many in here but this is nude with a little bit of sparkle in it and i'm definitely going to keep this one it's beautiful i love this shade this is in aquarius i don't know if this is still sold in stores another wet and wild this is in the shade libra i don't think i've ever even worn this it has like pinkish flecks in it I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Mm. I'll hold on to this. I really don't think I'm gonna wear it, but I'll give it a shot. Laritzi, this is a very interesting color. I do really like this, but I just don't pick it up. But can you see? It's like purple. I'm gonna hold on to this just because it's so different. This is in the shade Aura. It reminds me of like some kind of galactic color. I don't know. It reminds me of like outer space. Speaking of, these are both from Galactic Sparkle Bombs. You're supposed to apply underneath a gloss as a topper over your liquid lipstick or the lip sparkle on its own. I do really like this one, super pretty. It kind of has golden, again, I don't know if you can see that, but it has like goldenish reflex in it. Twinkle. And then this is more on the purple side. This is in the shade Periwinkle. I think I'm gonna keep both of these just because I've never used them. I'm not gonna open this because I've never opened this, but this is Pixie by Petra in the shade Honey Sheen. That just looks like the color I would definitely wear. Pink berry toned glosses. Really love Jolie Cosmetics. Their liquid lipsticks are amazing. This is in the shade Scuro. This is really dark. And so I don't really gravitate towards this. I might hold on to it just because I really don't own a lot of matte lipsticks. Mike hates this. He always says that it looks like I'm wearing cabbage on my lips, but I love this color. Lila. So I'm going to keep these two. Never wear this. Lorac. I don't even know if they sell these anymore, but well, I know they sell the high pigmented lip glosses, but I don't think they sell these shades. This is in the shade Lolita. It's like pigmented, but it's also sheer. Similar color. Oh, this one's like separating. My aunt bought me these and I love wet and wild glosses, guys. I say it all the time. Those are very, very similar. But can you see though, wet and wild is more pigmented and it's more of a gel like formula. So it's really gonna stay on your lips longer than the Lorac ones, which I think 
separately. These are close to 20 bucks. So guys, don't sleep on Wet n Wild. I think they're like four or five dollars. Maybe they're even three dollars. Three to five dollars, that's the range. This shade I've never even worn. This is Temptress by La Rock. That's pretty though. It looks red in the tube. It's very brown. I definitely, I'm keeping this. Ugh, see, this is what I hate. It's like, I never use any of these things and then I swatch them and I'm like, oh my God, yes. Oh, Seductress. I used to love this shade. That's really pretty. Perfect for summer. What is this Barney looking one? Heartthrob. They're prettier swatched than they are in the tube. Okay, I think I'm gonna keep that too. I love this. The last time I wore this, I think, was when Mike and I got engaged. I wore this in Miami. It just makes my lips look huge. Jordana Twist and Shine in the shade Honey Love. Honey, I love this. It's such a pretty color. I'm keeping this. I have another one of these collabs about the pout, and this is in the shade Make a Mauve. And it's just a clear gloss that has a hint of, like, purple, purpley pink. So I'm not getting rid of any of these because I just, I don't want to. And that's a fail because I feel like I've been saying I don't like purples and look at all of the purple shades that I'm keeping. Getting rid of this, this is Il Maquillage in the shade Matte Danger. I just, I don't love this red on me. Favorite lip gloss color of all time. So sad that Wet n Wild got rid of them. I'm keeping both of these. These are in the shade Fly Gal. I bought myself one. My aunt bought me a backup one. I love this. This is just like the most beautiful, like, oh, it's just like the most beautiful, cool toned, but like peachy gloss. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> the Sugar Rush Sugar Coat. I think this is by Tarte. This is in the shade Cupcake. It's just like a whipped nude. Donate this. Give it to my sister. Elf Modern Metals Liquid Matte Lipstick. I don't even know if they named it. I just, this is like to terracotta for my liking. Donate this, I think I wore this once. Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita, love her. She's a moody bitch. These I've never opened, so I'm gonna keep them both, but this is the Ultra Glossy Lip by Bretman Rock and ColourPop Kumquat Ultra Satin Lip in She Cute. So I'm gonna keep these both, I've never opened them. I might get rid of this. This is the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. This just looks like so, oh my God, that's so nude. That will erase my lips. I kinda like it though. I'm gonna hold on to it. I put all of my glitter glosses in one section. In the next section, I put like my clear slash like nude ones. And then I put my liquid lipsticks in one half of this section. More colorful glosses on the other half of this section. I got rid of eight and that's not bad. Also just found this guy. So maybe I can go ahead, take some of this out, put them in here. I am definitely getting rid of this. I'm not gonna wear a dark purple gloss. That's just like, that ain't me. So this is MAC in So This Season. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I also think that's kind of old. I also have some more Maybelline shades. This one is the shade Too Cute. I don't know how I feel about that. Kind of cool. It's like a cool tone pink. I don't know if I love it or if I hate it. And this is in the shade Unreal. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna keep these and I'm gonna put them with glosses in here. One of my favorite lip glosses, this is Estate in the shade Drip. Just a really pretty pink color. Definitely keeping this one. My NYX Plump It Up Lip Plumper Clear. Don't need to swatch that. More Vivid Matte Liquids. These are by Maybelline, but these are matte lipsticks, not glosses. Nude Rush. These are really comfortable. I don't think they're transfer proof though. Nude Thrill. Never open this, Huda Beauty Demi Matte, such a good formula, I love this. This is in the shade Passionista. I own the shade Game Changer 2, I wear that all the time, so I will keep this. Charlotte Tilbury, the lip set that she came out for the holidays with, I have Pillow Talk classic pillow talk lipstick. The formula is nice and I love the packaging. Very retro, reminds me of like the 60s, which I'm very much into. Trial size or travel size, I should say, pillow talk gloss and then another pillow talk topper. So I'm definitely gonna keep these. They make my lips look huge. I did a video dedicated to this gift set. I'll link it up here in case you didn't watch it. Trust Fun Beauty in the shade Text Me. This is a gloss. 
That's a pretty basic gloss. I will definitely keep this. I like that, that's nice. Nature's Cartel in the shade 90s Nostalgia. I'm definitely keeping this. I went ahead and put whatever lipsticks were in this acrylic in here. So I put my Nature's Cartel, my Charlotte Tilbury, and also put the Charlotte Tilbury lip toppers in here because I genuinely wear the lipstick and the two toppers together. So I know if I go to grab this, I'll go to grab all three. So that makes sense. Oh, how could I forget this guy? My little ashtray, but I don't use it as an ashtray because I don't smoke, but I put all of my lips in here that I feel like I'm gonna gravitate towards the most and I leave this on my vanity. Truth be told though, I kind of packed this a little bit too much and it wasn't easy to take things out of it because I would take one thing and then the rest of them would fall out or one would fall out or they would all just like collapse when I place them in really nicely. So I need to organize this a little bit better. Blushing beige, I told you guys I have two of these. I am gonna leave this in here because I feel like I always pick up this lipstick discontinued nars lip gloss in the shade asphalt jungle it's a really pretty copper tone i'm definitely going to keep this shade i think i'm going to keep everything in here collab this is the same kind of about the pout shade very nude color i think this is called birthday suit so i'm definitely going to keep this one i really don't wear this but i can't get rid of it because it was so damn expensive this is fenty in the shade diamond milk it's okay i like fenty glow a lot better which I actually have over here. Oh my God, I have so many lip glosses on my vanity. <laughs> We're nowhere near being done with this video. I just, I like that shade better. Can you see? It's like, it has a little bit of pigment in it, whereas this one is just like silver glitter. I don't know. Highly gloss in the shade, so cute. I really do like this. I just never gravitate towards it. That's a good color though. Uh, I love this, but I'm mad because I cracked the top. I don't know how that happened. Visanti, their lip oil. I wore this a lot in the winter when my lips were just dry. It's not like my most favorite color. This is in the shade Super Mom, but it's really comfortable. And I do find that I wear it because of that. So I will keep that. Maybe I'll get rid of this because this is very glittery and I never wear this. Look how glittery that is. This is NARS New Lover, Marc Jacobs Cream and Sugar super super pretty get this nub of a lip liner <laughs> this is bobby brown in the shade number nine nude we're not doing lip liners today but this is probably my most worn lip liner of all time um and i will find a home for these two don't hate me unpopular opinion i don't i'm not a big fan empty gloss gal. I know everybody is. This is what my current collection that I am keeping looks like. I definitely have more than this, which is like highly embarrassing and I hate to even admit that. Um, I have a bunch of lipsticks that I bought for my kit that I have not used yet, so those are gonna be for my clients. As far as what I'm getting rid of today, which is really exciting for me, I am getting rid of exactly 29 lipsticks. Some of these will be donated to family and friends and others will be trashed. Please keep in mind that nobody needs this many lip products. This is totally excessive, but again, this is what I do for a living. Like I test makeup, I try makeup, I review makeup for you guys, but do keep in mind that for the last year and a half, I have been really super mindful of what it is I let come through via PR. So like freebies, if a company reaches out to me and I don't think I will use it to the best of its ability, I don't accept it. And I also have not been buying a lot of new makeup. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure that you subscribe and click the bell before you leave if you have not done so yet. I will go ahead and leave a little declutter playlist at the end of this video in case you would like to watch more of these videos and stay tuned because I'm definitely gonna have more of these coming. I want to go through my entire collection and just purge what it is I don't need and give it to people that I think will use it and enjoy it and appreciate it more so than me. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you in my next one. And until then, I hope you have a great day, a great night, whenever it is you're watching this video. Bye guys.